my case, I was actually late coming to art, as a lot of people. And you know, it was not something that was an option when I was younger. Always wanted to. And uh, then an accident that uh, where I rock climbing, uh, fracturing bones in both ankles and doing other damage meant I couldn't do anything for some time. And during that period, I really started to draw and paint and it, I became addicted, basically. And after that, sold enough paintings to be able to fund my art education. My focus is really people, as you can see if you look round, uh, portraiture, life drawing and such like, and unposed people sketching. I really like to work from life as much as I possibly can. Children are the exception, too difficult, they move too much, but from life. And for my self-portraits, I'm not worried about flattering myself. I want to make that into, it's more that I'm using my face um, as a painting. I'm making a painting first and it happens that there's face in it. And I guess it's showing parts of myself that I'm, I'm exploring and thinking about. So uh, that excites me a lot. And I like doing portraits because I, I, I like trying to express the other person the way I perceive them. So it's quite interesting when somebody comes to pick up this, their portrait because I think both of us are as nervous as the other. So they're actually facing, I don't like people to see the portrait you see until the end. So they're facing, like the guy who came for this one um, just two weeks ago, they're facing my view of them, their, my take on them, the world's take on them in a way, you know, somebody else's view. And that's always a bit scary, I think, you know. So, and, and of course I want them to like it, not just as an image, an image of, them for the, of themselves, but that it works as a painting.